What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about South Park Snow Day yet again. And you know what? We're finally getting that build up, right? We talked about March and, you know, kind of coming in a little bit late. The game comes out in just a little bit over two weeks, right? But you know what? They are going all out. We got a preview today, IGN. They talked uh, a little bit. They kind of had like a developer diary like video going on. Honestly, we got a good amount of stuff. And the preview they did was around six minutes, almost entirely, if not entirely, of whether it was gameplay or cutscenes. We actually got to see the game in action and we learned a little bit more about it. So I kind of want to go through just some of the highlights for me. But the main takeaway, I'm honestly more impressed with this game now than I was, you know, a few days ago. There's always been potential. And I think I've talked quite highly you know on this game so far with very limited info right like it it looked like a fat princess kind of game and you know we've talked about in the past there's other games in that genre but fat princess was one that I kind of knew of you know growing up and the game looks really fun um obviously taking it differently from you know stick of truth and fractured butthole but it looked really good today we got a lot of gameplay so the gameplay looks really fun and the thing that stuck out to me that you know the IGN preview mentioned these kind of runs right these uh, and I think they mentioned Hades at one point these Haiti like runs that you go on and you're getting these cards which are going to do like buffs to different abilities and you have a, a BS card right which is kind of like a super powered ability that you can use most of them you can only use once per match some of them you can use I think two times per match right but it's a run and it's about changing kind of the play style and that way when you rerun that you know that campaign or that whatever it is the mission you might not do it the exact same way that you just did. They talked about bots, which I do think we've reported on based off their website or based off other things. So you can play up to, I believe, four players, right? But if you don't do that, if you're not playing with people online, the other three are bots. So very much like Suicide Squad, right? Which is, I mean, there's hundreds of games that do it. Suicide Squad, I guess, just being the last one, right? So you can play it by yourself, but you do have to carry the bots with you, or you can play it, you know, with other people. But the gameplay looks fun. It looks kind of unique it looks like there is some depth there and again the the takeaway not just from watching it but also from hearing you know what they said and they interviewed the developers right like this is something that's going to expand and keep growing which we'll talk about in a second but the gameplay itself is is trying not to be repetitive and i, and I think it's doing a pretty good job at it right now there is i gotta be honest like for all of these games there always is a concern about the repetition because if the game doesn't have that hook that makes you want to play it over and over and doesn't you know, have that core formula, but have enough in there to kind of shake it up, right? If it does it wrong, then the game is kind of a one and done thing, right? And I mean, that's, I think that's an issue with all of these games, or that's something they have to contend with, right? How do we not fall into that situation? And again, they talked about it in this with those cards and with the different abilities and stuff that hopefully would make it so that when you're going through, whether you're fighting bosses, which the bosses look pretty fun in this game, or, or just the enemies, it, it should never get old, right? Another thing to throw out there is, the visual style so you know we've seen it the trailers and we've seen a little bit of gameplay in the trailers but we really get to see the visuals here I think it looks really good it I don't know if I would say like the natural evolution of the last two games but definitely like keeping with it you know I'm mean, like 3d modeling and all that uh, it looks how I would imagine it looks but it does look really fun and one other thing that was a you know I think a standout of the preview and of the interview is playing it long term so they mentioned the last two games were more like movies versus TV show, right? Or like episodes. Whereas this, they literally, I mean, the, the comparison here is the game is about like an episode of South Park. Now, I do get a little worried like when I hear that out loud, right? Because it's like, okay, well, how, and I haven't seen this. I don't know if maybe this is reported. How many hours, and, and maybe not even that, like that's not necessarily the most important. How many missions are there in this game? Like, is it one big one? Is it spread out? I, I don't actually know. I know there's multiple bosses, so I imagine there's multiple missions, right? I just don't know the number. But the thing, you know, again, to get added to it is they want new South Park to be reflected in the game. So it sounds, I mean, okay, and we've talked a lot about live service. I've talked a lot of negative things about live service. This is what I would kind of consider, right, live service, but it doesn't sound bad. Honestly, it sounds kind of, now I, I do question a little bit of like, well, how long would you keep it alive for and how fast could you do it? Because they talk about like, hey, doing a show and then a few weeks later having it in the game. And it's like, well, 
I mean, games are not easy to make. You know, and yeah, you have the foundation, but if you have an episode two weeks later, are you going to be able to put that episode in a game? I feel like it's going to take you longer than two weeks. You know what I mean? So that was just something that kind of stood out. I like the idea. I think it's an ambitious idea, and I think, yeah, if you had an episode and maybe the game was a month or two behind, I think that could actually be quite cool. But to keep up with the show to me, feels very difficult, but it does provide, like, endless possibilities, you know, I mean, like, there, there's a lot that you can constantly do um, to add to it, and, you know, in the developer interview, they also talked about, hey, this is a risk, this is something that they haven't done, it's $30 that lets them experiment, that lets them charge less, way less than what you would normally pay for a game, and you know what? If it fails, at least they tried. And you know what? They didn't say it exactly like that, but they did mention failure. They did mention like, hey, if it works, you know, it works. If it doesn't work, like it's an experiment. I respect that. I respect hearing that because you really don't. He and you know what? The game industry is not really like that. You know, what I mean, there's no room for failures in the game industry. You know what I mean? So just to hear like, yeah, we know we're doing something different. It's not guaranteed to work. It's also kind of ambitious and how we're, you know, planning to keep up with it. If it doesn't work, you know, it doesn't work. And if it works, Works, I, we can keep it going right for a long time I respect that so like I said I, I think I'm more excited now than I was before I think the gameplay looks more fun now than it does before um, it looks tight like it looks you know like, like a pretty solid gameplay system the replayability is always going to be a question but I, I think they've uh, taken the right measures in, in terms of again what they're saying and what they're showing to kind of show us like hey you're supposed to play it more than once, and it's going to change. Not every run's going to be the same. It'll be okay. And there's plenty. Like, I think to Hades, you know, they mentioned Hades in the preview. Hades is a game where you literally are supposed to play it over and over, but it's so freaking good. It, the hook is so good, and the additions, they kind of... Sp I mean, Hades is a very special game. I don't expect this to be anywhere close to it. That's a, that's a game of the generation or game of the decade type game, in my opinion, Hades. So I don't think this will reach it, but to have that in mind of what you would maybe like to steal you know, from, I, I think that's not a bad thing at all. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.